እሺ አመሰግናለሁ ቤቲ ዛሬ በእውነቱ ተልቀን ነው የመጀመሪያው የቨርቹዋል ሴሽን የኤሮስፔስ ኢንጂነሪንግ ሌክቸር ኦፕን ሌክቸር የሚካሄድበት ነው እንደሚታወቀው የኢትዮጵያን ስፔስ ሳይንስ ቴክኖሎጂ ኢንስቲትዩት በቅርቡ የተቋቋመ ወጣት ኢንስቲትዩት ሲሆን ከዚህ ውስጥ ከከሰራቾ ስራዎች አንዱ የኤሮስፔስ ኢንጂነሪንግን ማጠናከር ነው በቅርቡም የኤሮስፔስ ኢንጂነሪንግ ማስተርስ እና ፒኤችዲ ፕሮግራም ከአዲስ አበባ ሳይንስ እና ቴክኖሎጂ ዩኒቨርሲቲ ጋር በመተባበር ላውንች ተደርጓል ይሄም በአገራችን ለመጀመሪያው የኤሮስፔስ ኢንጂነሪንግ ዘርፍ የሚሰጥ ተቋም አድርጎታል ይሄንኑ በማስመልከት ለኤካቲት ወር ለአንድ ወር የሚቆይ የቨርቹዋል ሴሽን ስለ ስለ ኤሮስፔስ ኢንጂነሪንግ አስመልክቶ ውጪ ከሚገኙ ኢትዮጵያን ባለሙያዎች ጋር በአገር ውስጥ ላሉ እንዲሁም በተለያየ ቦታ ሆነው እድሉን አላገኙ ግንዛቤ እንዲኖራቸው መሰረታዊ ዕውቀት ከሎት እንዲኖራቸው ለማስቻል በማሰብ የተዘጋጀ ፕሮግራም ነው ይሄንንም ያስዘጋጁትን የኤሮስፔስ ኢንጂነሪንግ ዴቨሎፕመንት ዲፓርትመንት አባላት ማመስገን ፈልጋለን እንዲሁም ጊዜያቸውን ሰውተው በበጎ ፍቃደኝነት ያላቸውን ዕውቀት ለሼር ለማድረግ አብረው ነው የተገኙትን ባለማያዎች ለማመስገን ወዳለሁ በተለይ ዛሬ የሚያቀርበው ዶክተር ጆሴፍ ሽፈራው አይ ቲንክ አይ ኖ ሂም ለረጅም ጊዜ ያቋለው በዚህ ጊዜ መጥቶ ቀጡ ለካፍለን ጊዜውን ሰውቱ ስለመጣ ያመሰገንኩ ይሄ ለምት ወደፊት እንዲቀጥልና በለወደፊቱ ደግሞ ቨርቹዋልም ሳይሆን በአካልም ይሄን ነገር ምን አድርግበት መደል አይደል እንደሚፈጠር ተስፋ አረጋለሁ ስለነበረን ጊዜ አመሰግናለሁ የተሳካ የቨርቹዋል ትሬኒንግ እንደሚሆን አመናለሁ አመሰግናለሁ እሺ አመሰግናለሁ አጥዋልሚዬ በነቀጠል ዶክተር ጆሴፍን ለክቸር እንዲጀምር ሄሎ ሄሎ ኢሰማል ኢሰማል አው ኢሰማል ማመልካም ኦኬ ስለዚህ እግዲ እንትን ቤት ነው ያለውኝ አንዳንድ ጊዜ ባክግራውንድ ጫጫታ ታካለ ለዛ ይከታ ጠይቃለሁኝ አቶ ለብዬ በደንብ በአካል እንተዋውቃለን በርግጥ ብዙ ጊዜ ሆኖናል ከተገናኘን የሆነ ሆኖ ግን ያው አልፎልፎ ከተተላለው ምታረጉት ትላልቅ ነገሮች እና ለዛ ትልቅ ምስጋና አቀርባለሁ ወደ ስክሪን ሼሪንግ ሄዳለሁ ማለት ስክሪን ሼሪንግውን ሚ ምታሳውቅኝ ቤቲ ቶኛለሽ ካስ በደንብ ማይታይ ሆነ ስለዚህ ወደ ስክሪን ሼሪንግ ሄዳለሁ ሶ ይምታይ ከሆነ ትነግሪኛለሽ አሁን ያረኩት እንትናለ እሺ ኦኬ ስለዚህ ወደ ፕረዘንቴሽን ሄዳለሁኝ ሶ ይታያል አቀጣጥ ኦኬ ይታያል አይደል አሁን አው ኦኬ ሶ ሁሉም ኢትዮጵያኖች ይመስሉኛል ያሉትና አስፈላጊ ከሆነ በሁሉ ሁለቱንም እንግሊዝኛንም የአማርኛንም ቋንቋ አደባባል ከመጠቀም ይችላልን በስፔሻል የሆነ እንትን ከሆነ የስቴጅ በእንግሊዝኛ ማቅረብ ይችላልውና አማራጭ ያለው ነገር ነው አይ ቲንክ ኮምፈርቴብል ባሆኑበት ማቅረብ ይችላል ወል በቃ እንግዲህ በሁለቱም ይሄድበታለሁ ከመጀመሪያ ለመጀመሪያ ይሄ የመጀመሪያው ቤዚክ ዎርክሾፕ ማለት እንችላለን ብዙ ቀጣይ ስራዎችን አብረን እንሰራበት ነው አሁን ለጊዜው ግን ኦፕን ሶርስ ሶፍትዌሮችን ለኢትዮጵያ ላሉ ጓደኞቻችን ማሳወቅና አብሮ ለወደፊት ሪሰርች መስራትን በተመለከተ ስለሆነ የኔ ፕረዘንቴሽን የሚለው የኤርካፍ ሞዴሊንግ ኤንድ ሲሙሌሽን ሶፍትዌር ቱልስ ነው they are mainly of open source type but i will give an introduction on some sort of uh, commercially available softwares and also uh, free student version softwares like ansys uh, katia and others so 
እነዚህን ሄድበታለሁ ፓሊ የኔስም ጆሴፍ ሽፈራ ጆሴፍ ቤት የሚጠሩበት ስም ነው ለተክለኛ ስም ይሄን በአካዳሚክ ኤሪያ ላይ ባያትም ቱሉ ወይንም በራሴ ስም አብራ በሚለው ዚህ የሚያቆኝ በአብዛኛው በቱሉ ነው የሚያቆኝ ግን ቤት ውስጥ ጆሴፍ ሽፈራው ወይንም ጆሴፍ በሚል ስም ተራለ ኤኒዌይ ወደ እንትኑል ሄደና በአራት ዊክ የተከፈለ ነው ይሄ in the first week we'll talk about aircraft modeling and simulation tools and as i said there are uh, open source softwares and also commercially available ones in the second week we'll talk about the flight control software uh, or you can call it firmware where actually firmware uh, is for those uh, software developed by the low level language like c or like driver softwares and system control softwares what you have there they are actually called firmwares this is a special case but normally we can call it software but the majority knows that software is the application feature that we add to the firmware for our own purpose so the this the other one is on the uh, week 3 and 4 uh, where uh, this is dedicated to the software in the loop simulation uh, using those software uh, flight control softwares uh, and also we'll have other other features that uh, the 3d simulation environment that we will integrate into the flight control software and also we have uh, other features like robot operating system that we need to add into it because of some uh features we need the libraries we need from this uh, robot operating system so <clears throat> in the in the first week we'll talk about the open vsv which is the uh, vehicle sketch part Uh, this standards for VEX, the vehicle sketch part it's open that's why you call it open vsp this uh, software is released by nasa for public domain so anyone can use it without any cost and the second one is about katia and blender uh, as you know katia and blender are very famous for design so in our case what we are using in our laboratory is uh, Uh, katia for interior design of any any vehicle for exterior design open vsv is there and also there is uh, some modules added to open vsv for aerodynamic analysis so mainly we use katia for interior design or open vsv for uh, exterior design the other one is ansys flown this is advanced level cfd for uh, high fidelity simulations uh but open vsp is just for uh, preliminary and conceptual level of uh, design so we'll talk about that in depth uh, the other one is week two uh, as i said we have a flight control firmware that we will focus on the open source type like a pixoc uh, normally the software is called the px4 or ardo pilot and actually there are other modes but the widely used softwares are px4 in our pilot that i can present uh, to you but uh, i will go over like briefly uh, the, the difference between the two firmwares uh, and then i will focus more on the px4 firmware type which is a very known uh, flight control software that we use for drones not only for drones actually we use it for marine vehicles for ground vehicles or any other robotic types uh, nowadays people are using is px4 for firmware and the last three weeks i mean the three and four uh, weeks uh, are for the software in the loop simulation where we use the P px4 flight control firmware uh, to do everything every uh, every uh, algorithm test on the computer based uh, loop and so we don't need any uh, flight control board like pixoc we just do everything on computer that's why we call it a software in the loop we don't need the hardware and we'll see that in devs with the simulation environment called gazebo which is a, a powerful a 3d simulation environment uh pix so px4 is already integrated to gazebo so you don't need a lot of work to uh, do things if you want to do the simulation of any vehicle model in this uh, 3d simulation environment 
The other one is the integration of PX4 gazebo and robot operating system ROS. If you need a more advanced features like object tracking, uh, detection, obstacle avoidance, and so on and so on. Uh, the best way you can do is you have your own companion computer, uh, which is integrated to the PIXOC uh, flight control board, and so that the companion computer will handle all the image processing stuffs uh, where the PIXOC is uh, dedicated to the flight control type. So we'll talk about that in detail, but for today, <clears throat> as I said, our focus is on Open VSP. Uh, it stands for uh, the vehicle sketch, sketch pad or sketching pad. Uh, this is normally uh, released for free for uh, public use by NASA and still is under development indeed. Uh, many people are contributing to the software. Uh, the other thing that is integrated to VSP uh, is the VSP Aero. Uh, the VSP arrow is to analyze the aerodynamic performance, control, and stability of the vehicle you designed. And after you did that, after you did that, you directly go to the interior design using Katia and Blender. Uh, if you need some interior design, of course, most of the time, once you did, uh, once you are satisfied with the aerodynamic performance and control, stability is okay. You have to do the interior design and then you bring it back to the uh, VSV Aero or to ANSYS uh, for final analysis. Uh, so ANSYS is there, ANSYS is commercially available, very expensive, but still you can use the student version uh, for uh, limited access. So uh, I may show you how to export any vehicle you designed in OpenVSV into ANSYS and also into Katia and Blender. Uh, indeed, ANSYS is not allowed, uh, so I will just show you how to export the, the file format you need to export to uh, ANSYS from uh, OpenVSP. So with that, I'll go to the demonstration part. Uh, so I hope everybody uh, has to uh, focus mainly on what I'm doing right now. After now, it's just a basic introduction. So I'm going to uh, bring the... Uh, Open VSP from internet. Uh, and then I will show you how to download it. It's free. Uh, you just type it open VSP and you'll see directly there in the, on the internet and you can download it if you want. <clears throat> and actually, I already downloaded. There are different versions for Windows, for Mac, and Ubuntu. But the best one is for the Windows versions that we most uh, mostly use. I sometimes use Ubuntu uh, because most of my works related to Pixel or PX4 is on Ubuntu. So uh, the, the best way is to go with the Windows version. So uh, I'm not going to download it. It's already downloaded for me, but you can do it by yourself. And I am going to launch the downloaded OpenVSP from my computer. So. I'm going to go into or oh, not this. So yeah, right here. I have I have different versions. That's why I'm confused. Okay, uh, I'm going down. Uh, pay attention here that we need to launch this one, not VSP Aero or something else. Just VSP. Click on it if you want. You can launch it using the administrative type for privilege, but doesn't matter. So you get the MP3. Ah, wait. A screen sharing what after let Now, could you turn it on? Oh, okay. Oh, I will do okay. it again. Okay. All Thank right. you. Okay. All right. So, so yeah, I was here. I guess I'm here. Can you can you see it now? Yes. No? No, it's yes. All right. Okay. Uh, okay, shall I launch it again? Let me launch it again for you. Uh, okay. Uh, or I can just show you where I can launch it from. I will launch it from the folder. VSP is there. You just right click and launch it with the uh, administrative privilege. So then you get this empty window. If you have already uh, designed a model, you can just open it from the open. 
and I do have plenty of that down there, but um, for today I'm going to start from the scratch. Uh, but before I go into the uh, uh, modeling, uh, I want to say a bit about the tabs we have here. Uh, we have the, 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 the file, actually, you have everything you can import, you can uh, save the file and uh, also import, export your, your results to other like Katia and Ansys. And also you have in the window, or you have um, the background. This is very important that you know this, because you will bring a background, for instance, the already modeled uh, aircraft uh, 3D views can be imported. I mean, the, the 3D directions of the already modeled aircraft can be uh, imported into the background so that you can use that background to sketch your own, uh, your own vehicle quite similar to uh, the background you have. So it's important, we'll talk about that later. In the view, you have different views of the vehicle you design, we'll see it also. In the model also, you have different uh, uh, options like geometry, you'll see how what geometry is. You have the design variables, especially for those who are want, uh, uh, in need of uh, doing some optimization. So there are some design variables yeah, that you can list out here. Those design variables will be integrated to the uh, optimizing algorithm so that it can uh, cyclically uh, optimize the variables as you want. And I'm not going to talk about the optimization of the aircraft wing or anything, but just wanna uh, highlight that. And, and the most important one is here. Here you can see the mass, the inertial property of the designed vehicle. And most of all, you'll use this module, which is VSV Aero, which is for the aerodynamic analysis of your model. So with that, let me go into, actually you have a lot of, uh, options on tabs here also, if you want, and you can see what they will do. But how do you add uh, the, the vehicle model? The vehicle model is uh, well, it's not exactly the model, but the components are already there. I'm going to show you that uh, for some reason, I can't drag it down, Oops, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. Uh, is it okay? Can you see it now? Okay. Uh, if, yeah, we can see the screen. All right, thank you. So he, here you have plenty of um, components you want, like the fuselage, the wing, and some stack, blank, uh, blah, blah, is there. The, the propellers, if you want, is there. And the discs and different types, like a box group to add inside the vehicle so that it will represent some interior objects, uh, mostly for weight analysis. Uh, you, can, you can add those components like boxes and different types of ducts for the engine part. Uh, and also you can add seat and port man and so on and so on. But mostly what I use is the fuselage and the wing. And the wing can do everything you want. <clears throat> so let me go with the wing and then we'll see the rest. Click on the wing and then click add. So you get the wire version or the wire view, wire view of the, the wing section only. Now you can you can click on the shade here. You see, if you see it, the shade, or let me drag this thing down. If you see it, the shades, it will give you the shaded version of your, your uh, the wing. Uh, or you can call it, this is like a blended wing body type of uh, aircraft. So now uh, there are different terminologies you may see here, the different terminologies. Uh, I'll talk about that. We have airfoil, first of all, the airfoil at the center and the, the other airfoil at the tip, airfoil. At, and I, I'm not sure uh, whether you guys have got the basic uh, terminologies of all the aerodynamic uh, components like uh, airfoil, reefs, span, and cord, and so on and so on. So uh, if not, just stop me somewhere and then ask me what it is, if you want. So now we have this thing. If you want to modify, no, no. Before I go into that, the wing span is from this tip 
the distance from this tip, the lower tip to the upper tip, if you want. And you have the length, which is right from here up to the end. And that is actually the cord length of the airfoil, the central airfoil. So you can modify this, but if you want to see uh, the length of your wing span, you just go into the, the, the plan, click on the plan, you see the span. This is the total span you have. By the way, I didn't tell you that uh, OpenVSP doesn't have a specific unit for you. You can design, assign yourself uh, whatever unit you want. Like if you want to go with the centimeter, this is like 18, 18 centimeters. So you can do with that, or, or maybe you can go with feet, inch, whatever you want. But you have to keep the consistency of the unit when you do for the rest of once you, you decide in your mind. And the other thing, as I said, the open VSP is for vehicles uh, that has the maximum speed of um, Mach 1, which is not more than the subsonic uh, level. If you go more than subsonic, the, the solvers you use for uh, uh, aerodynamic analysis of the vehicle doesn't work well. There are so many assumptions you have. That's why this open VSP is limited only for the preliminary and conceptual phase of uh, any vehicle design. So, uh, so you, you got you got the 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 the, the span uh, here. Let's say this is eighty meter, eighty meter. So uh, keep in mind that we are working with meter, and you have a project uh, the projection span, which is the shadow of this span on the ground, which may be not the same as uh, the span of the aircraft itself. If there is some dehydral type of shape. And so you have a cord, which is the mean cord in this case, the mean cord. This is the average of all the cords. You have the cord lengths of the central airfoil, the cord lengths of the tips and the tips. And so you get the, the average of that, that is the mean cord. So now you can you can drag this one if you want. Like if I, if I want to modify this one, I just go to the airfoil because this is airfoil. Now airfoil zero, is for the central part. So I can I can drag the, I'm sorry, I have to go to the section part because uh, I have to I have to increase the length, it's not the, the thickness. So the section, normally the section is, what you see in green is one section. If you have a split of that, let's like say I have a split now. So we have one, two sections now. So click on the wing back. Uh, by the way, you can rename, rename it also. You can, you can call it whatever you want, BWB, uh, you can call it. And if you leave it, you, you will uh, name it. So you have a section right here. Now I want to extend the central airfoil length. Go to the section. And this is the section now we are talking. The section has, uh, now this is a section platform you can see here. Section platform, you can increase the span. The span means the length of the section itself. So you can increase it if you want. Or uh, if you want, also you can increase the airfoil. There are two airfoils of the section, the inter and the, the external and the, the internal uh, airfoil. The external one is which one? It's just an, an outside of, uh, outside of the, the central part. So this is a central here. Now you, let, let's, let's uh, do some tricky things. I mean, that's not tricky, but like you can try modify uh, the length of the airfoil right here. You have a root cord and you have a tip cord. The root cord is for the central part. Always toward the center is the root. So you can you can right click, I mean, drag, just drag uh, the, the, the cord. So you can increase it as you want. And also you can do for the tip also, the tip by now is this one. Uh, it's not that one because we are talking about the section. You can also drag that as you want. And if you want to increase, uh, by the way, I can, I can show you this is the, the symmetric so I can cut it into half. Uh, so I can show you only uh, one wing because everything you did for this wing applies for the other wing. So you have symmetry, right? If you click on the second tab, you have a symmetry here, uh, you, this one, you can click uh, the symmetry, you can see it. Uh, you can avoid it, whatever you want. So, but anyway, if you want to see from the side, 
uh, it's better to have a single uh, uh, wing, one side of the wing. So now let me, let me uh, by the way, there are some, some um, tabs that you need to click to view uh, your uh, vehicle from different direction. Uh, in the view, you can see here, mostly the F5, which will give you the top view and F6 that will give you the front view. Uh, you, you can go through this. Uh, this is the F7 side view and so on and so on. So uh, I'm going to go with the five, I mean, the, the, with the F7, the side view. Now I'm going to, this is symmetric type of airfoil. And usually this type of airfoil is at the tip of the aircraft because it doesn't produce any uh, lift at a zero angle of attack. So we normally use that at the tip to avoid some uh, turbulent flows of air on the tip side. So uh, I, I can go to the airfoil now. I can increase the thickness of the airfoil. Like click, you see here the airfoil. I can increase the thickness of this airfoil as I want. You can drag it or you can give the number here. Remind you here that we have no unit specific, but keep in mind that you are doing this a certain unique uh, unit in your mind. So uh, the other thing is this is, there is no camera for this, it's symmetric. You can add the camber. You can bend it as much as you want. And you can also decide the camber location, the maximum thickness location. You can drag this one. The maximum thickness will move back. You see, if you see, it will move back. And so this actually depends on uh, what you want to do, uh, in which area of the wing you are applying this air for. And also you have options to select from uh, the option listed here, the type. The, you can choose from this, uh, whatever type of airfoil you want. And so it's up to you. And also you can see the, uh, the, the line view of the airfoil you are doing with. And if you change the thickness, you will see the change also right here. Uh, especially if you don't have um, this view, you can directly view it right from the, the show. And so you can do that. And the other thing is, um, let me bring it back. Uh, there are some tabs that I don't use, uh, like on convert to tab, it, it inverts actually. There's a, an invert airfoil also here, but I don't know what they are using that for. And if you click here, uh, you can design, you can, you can give each point of the airfoil by yourself and you can modify it as you want, especially, especially if you are doing this blended wing body type of aircraft, you have to design the interior part uh, by yourself manually uh, because of uh, your own special interest. You, the, the central part is not basically for uh, aerodynamic lift. You have to primarily look into the what you will have in the interior part, what components you have. So you have to determine whether the thickness of the central airfoil and the subsequent ones close to the central uh, should be enough or not for uh, the objects you want to load inside the aircraft. So that is one thing you see here. Uh, so you can, you can select different types uh, as you want. The best thing about this uh, open VSV is that you can see the different, the changes right away. It's a parametric type. You can just give the number or drag the score and then you get uh, uh, the shapes you want. Now, uh, so uh, what else? I have to see here, uh, there is, uh, th this actually is to, to move uh, uh, your, your, your uh, section or the wing itself to either X, Y, or Z, or, or you can rotate it. Now, if you drag this one, you are moving the wing back, uh, especially if you have airfoil, let me add, I mean, the uh, fuselage, let me add the fuselage and see uh, how we can do that. Let me go to the shade, now the shade, so I can move the wing backward. Uh, so I'll click on the wing part and drag it backward. Uh, if 
if it's like at the end, it's not end actually, you can click on the arrow and then you get more. You can move it uh, more back. There's no problem in that. And also you can increase the size as I said, and uh, you can bring back uh, the symmetry. And now this, if you see, I, I, can, I can do this, like I can hide this one. You can hide this one if you want, no show. You just click on no show. So you can see here, and now I want to move the wings apart uh, because there is a fuse let's say. So click on the wing and go into this X form. And then if you drag this one, the wing will move apart. Now bring the fuse ledge back. You can see it now show. So you can, you can see it now. You can move the wing as you want. Uh, by the way, the open VSP is not only for aircraft, for any like rocket design for ground robots, like underground, like, I mean, the underwater type of vehicles or anything you want, you can design right here uh, in open VSP. Uh, I mean, for the design part, at least the aero part is not such important. Now I can cancel the fuselage. I don't want it now. For now I'm going to deal with the wing. So bring back, the the wings together this is a blended wing body type now uh, we did that and also if you want you can change the colors right here you can go into color and change whatever color you want uh, from the drop down uh, right here uh, but it's not that such important and also uh, indeed if you have uh, different components that you want to visualize yes indeed you need to have a uh, different color so that's it uh, as I said, the section is there. Uh, one thing I have to talk about section, uh, actually it's not one thing uh, more. Uh, now we are dealing with this section. Uh, I think this is not uh, visible. Let me change that into the default one. Well, yes. Now, uh, the top view. The top view and uh, one thing I did here is this has to come to the origin. Uh, you can drag it, you can uh, zoom in and zoom out. If you hold the, uh, the scroll, the button of your mouse, you can uh, bring it out and in. And also um, you can do any other thing just with the right click and left click. And the right click is actually to move it. I mean, yeah, move around. And then the other one is to rotate. The left click is to rotate. And then you can, you can exercise this. Now, let me go to the section part. Now I'm talking about this section. And let me give the front view. The front view of the vehicle is like this. I want to give some sort of dihedral, which means I want to bend it a bit up. Uh, so you go into the dihedral and give it like, say, 20 degree dihedral. Now, this is too much indeed. The 20 degree dihedral is too much. Uh, the importance of this dihedral is like um, if you want to make enough lift during the roll you have to design the vehicle in such a way that the wing somehow bends uh, upward so that when it rolls still, uh, say for example, if it rolls to the left, uh, as I show you, uh, if you have uh, a bended wing right here, still you have some lift generated by this uh, wing side. So the hydral type is very important. Uh, it actually depends on the type of mission the aircraft is designed for. Uh, the hydral is there, and also now let me go into the uh, the. And so we did this. Um, so uh, the hydral is there. Also, you can twist the wing, especially the, the, the outward wings, this wing at the, the end of the wing uh, or the tip area. You have to twist it as somehow upward from the back, from the trailing edge upward, because uh, if the, air, the aircraft is to, to stall, 
um, normally you have the control surfaces like aileron on this tip. If the aircraft is to stall, it has to, it has to stall in the interior part first. And if you twist it up, uh, even though the aircraft stalls in the interior, and this surface still generates the wing, there is an airflow on this surface. If there is airflow, then the control uh, surface like aileron will uh, bring the aircraft back to normal. So normally they do twist for that reason. And let me show you how we twist it. Let me just give you the front view. And I'm going to twist this one. Uh, we'll say uh, exaggerated 40 degree twist. This is twist down and it's not as such important. Uh, we have to twist it up. So you, you, this is exaggerated indeed. So as I said, if the uh, say, the angle of attack is very high, the aircraft stalls because there is no enough lift generated by the aircraft surfaces over the central part. Uh, as you can see here on the tip, there is still the surface which is um, touched by the wings, uh, which is called also the wet surface for now. The wet surface is the surface on which the wind flows. So at least you can have the control of the aircraft by the ailerons uh, you have at this area, at the tip. So that's why they make a twist. And anyway, I will bring it back to normal. Uh, we don't need it now. Uh, so um, the other thing is um, uh, you can go to the blending. Blending is normally to smooth the leading edge areas and the trailing edge areas. Uh, that is like, for example, if I have, let me see, let me add more uh, section, click on section. Let me add more uh, sections into the aircraft. Now split it in. And so let's say uh, this tip is rotated. I mean, the, the tip is uh, shifted back. Uh, that is, that is, I'm sorry. That should have been a sweep, sweep back, I'm sorry. Uh, so if you want to uh, get back, you just click on the um, undo, edit undo, you can create, you can get back to the original uh, shape you want, you have. And so let me sweep it back. Uh, if you sweep, you give more uh, angle of sweep, uh, say, uh, okay, and like 50. I do the 50. Now, the, the, as you can see, the edge is not smooth here. The edge is not smooth here if you want to smooth it. And also it's not smooth here if you want to smooth it. And if you are satisfied with this shape and you want to smooth it and you go to the blend. And so the, the leading edge and also there is a trailing edge. The leading edge of the aircraft at uh, this edge and the trailing edge is there. So you can smooth for instance this cornered uh, section. Uh, you just click, I mean, let me go into the leading edge and uh, say the outboard, the, the outboarding. Uh, let me click on, uh, say you have options indeed. You can use angle uh, to uh, make smooth uh, leading edge. Uh, say for example, an angle of um, uh, 40, may not that much smooth, but somehow it tries to smooth it, tries to smooth it. And if you add, if it reduce, reduce down this to 20, you will see that more smoothed uh, shape is there. So you can use angle uh, or you can go into the outward uh, leading edge. The outward is from, uh, from the central into the tip, always. Now we are here on this airfoil, the outward is this one. So you go into the outward leading edge. This is a trailing edge, so we don't do it now. Leading edge. So you can, you can go and add the, the strings if you want to the leading edge. Uh, you can add the strings, uh, but th that string is not enough. I can't see uh, that much of uh, differences indeed. Okay, we will see in the others. Uh, probably if, if I go into the other airfoil here, and let's say this has to follow uh, the inner, the inner leading uh, edge, which means the inner one is this one. So whatever you have in the outer, uh, the outer part of the airfoil has to follow the inner one. So you can have that type of um, smoothing like that. So you see the, the effect of uh, 
So you can increase the strings, but normally that will mess up everything uh, if you want. Uh, so uh, we have this thing. And if you want to scale any, any, any airfoil, just scaling, like click on here to mo modify on here, click the modify. You have actually shift, rotate, scale. Uh, shifting means you can shift backward. Uh, like for example, let me go with um, uh, one of the airfoil like here. Okay, now you see the blue line that shows the active uh, airfoil we are working on. So uh, you, can, you can scale it if you want, you just go into the scaling and let's say 1.5. And see what will happen. Like uh, what will happen? As you can see, it will scale in every direction. The thickness also, not only uh, the. Um, it's not only. Uh, the, the the tip of the aircraft, uh, which actually is uh, designed for a specific purpose, like reducing some turbulences on the. Okay, now now um, with that, my, you can you can go through everything: the leading edge, the trailing edge. You can modify, and and also there is um, as I said the blending uh, for trailing and uh, the leading edge. And uh, we have different type of airfoil selection. And also you can add your own airfoil if you want. Uh, so that is, uh, you can click on here. And I guess this is on uh, air file. Uh, click on here. And so you have to click like read. You have to bring the airfoil that you have from uh, your own source. Uh, so. Actually, this this arena from there's no specific need to bring air for it unless otherwise we design a special type of aircraft. So this is uh, uh, this type. Oh, I can get back to the original shape. Now uh, we have. I think it's, is there any question? Please, if you have a question, you can raise and um, before I go ahead. Any question? Uh, I, I'm going to go to the how to. Um, create the control uh, surface aileron of the UAV or aircraft. So if you don't have any question, uh, let me go to the control surface. If you see here, there is a SUV sub, that's a subsurface. You can click on it. And so you can uh, uh, click on here, uh, right, oh, sorry, right here, it says control surf. Mm, don't go with the line, rectangle and so on. You just go with the control surface because we're going to do the control surface design. Click on it and then click add. And now see that the uh, ailerons are right here, but you can shift them. You can shift them span wise. You can shift it like, like this. And also that move that one to the tip, move it. And also you can increase the area of the control surface, depending on <coughs> the uh, control and stability of the aircraft. Or normally that's what you have in your mind. And also sometimes after you do some aerodynamic analysis, you will see that the control surface assigned is not enough to control the aircraft. So you have to add a bit of the surface uh, by clicking on the cordwise direction. The cordwise direction will give you, this is like, only 25% of the cord length is, is used for control surface. You can add that if you want, uh, like this. You can, you can add that uh, using this. Uh, the other thing is um, we'll talk about the, how, how we can put the angle uh, on the, of the ailerons in the aero, VSB aero. Now, uh, I have to go into the um, simulation uh, after we do 
uh, this uh, aircraft design and we satisfied ourselves that is okay. And then I will go ahead with um, uh, the VSP arrow, the aerodynamic analysis of the vehicle. Now go into the analysis, click on the analysis. This is the, the third party module, which is integrated to VSP. So VSP arrow is very powerful, at least for the preliminary, preliminary and conceptual phase of the design. So click on it. If you click on it, the VSP arrow gives you an overview, what you see over here, uh, that uh, the vortex lattice, this is the solver. This is the, the one that solves the pressure distribution on the surface of the aircraft. And also there is another solver called the panel method. You can read about uh, the vortex lattice and the panel method uh, of um, the design approach, I mean, uh, uh, solving approach uh, for pressure difference on the surface. Normally what it does is, uh, any of them, uh, you have to have the uh, meshed surface of the aircraft. There is a, a geometry measure. Uh, if you go here, <coughs> I'm sorry. If you go here, uh, the CFD mesh, FBA mesh and DGM, degenerate uh, geometry mesh is for vortex lattice. Uh, normally people use this one, uh, the vortex lattice rather than the PA uh, panel method. The solvers are there for you. You can read about that and you can go with whatever you like. And here you see that it's uh, uh, the, the term, the, the word says, we says show, uh, which means in this case, if you click on show, you have a different type, all show, not show. Show means you do the aerodynamic analysis only for the shown part of the aircraft. You can hide some component of the aircraft. Uh, for, for example, I can, I can add the fuselage and the fuselage is there. Uh, but I will go into the fuselage and say hide or not show. And then I'll go click on here and go into the uh, analysis of VSP arrow. <clears throat> and then uh, here you see show. It is to mean only for the uh, wing or BWB part, not the fuselage. Uh, if you want to add the fuselage also, you click on all. Uh, uh, not show sure. it's only for the fuselage, not to, for the wing or the PWB. So uh, I will click uh, show. And also you have um, um, the CG, the center of gravity of the aircraft can be calculated. If you click on here, you can get the center of gravity, the X location, the Y location and Z location of the CG of the aircraft. And later on, we'll see that. <clears throat> And also again, uh, you can calculate center of gravity only for the shown part or, or for all, you can do that. Now, um, by the way, you can, you can uh, uh, see uh, the inertia and the mass property of this thing. Uh, if you go into the mass probe, you click, uh, right click analysis and then go to the map and you can do slices to get a solution, inertial distribution. Now you see here there is a mass and there is a, uh, the inertial property of the vehicle design, I mean, uh, given here. But uh, now you can, you can compute. If you click on compute, you will get the computed uh, part of, uh, I mean, uh, variables uh, of your drone, I mean, your, your uh, vehicle. So the mass is whatever you use, 19 kilogram probably. Uh, and also uh, you have to go with in second and so on and so on. You have to go with that and like the CGs, I mean the, the uh, MKs. Uh, now the inertial properties also there. Now you get this, this one, my, don't be panic. You can cancel this one. This is just the, the, the meshed, or the partition part, uh, part of the aircraft to get, to get the calculation uh, for the mass and inertia uh, distribution. So you can click, it is, it's right here, you can click and delete it. You don't want it. Uh, that means now it says the BW is not shown, but you can click on it and then click show. So you get back what you want. Okay, uh, now uh, let's 
aerodynamic analysis. Uh, okay, now let me go into the ANSYS uh, analysis and the VSP. As I said, I have everything in here. This is also alpha here, which is an angle of attack uh, for um, calculate the aerodynamic performance of the vehicle for different angle of attack. Let's say I will start from uh, minus five, uh, which is a uh, nose down and up to uh, 15 and do like um, say for example um, 10 times now beta is the side uh, and for now well, let's see uh, we just consider only the uh, air car uh, the, the air flow in the direction of uh, opposite to the direction of flight of the UAV um, so the other thing is the Mach. Uh, you can calculate the Mach number based on um, uh, the maximum velocity of the vehicle you want. Uh, normally you have to come to this design after you do some uh, uh, analysis on uh, the wing load and the way to um, thrust ratios and so on and so on. You have to have a criteria for designing this vehicle. Those criteria are like the maximum speed, the turning angle, and so on and so on. So you bring the maximum speed you have, and you can calculate that if you want. This is in Mach, which is the speed of the aircraft divided by the speed of sound, uh, which is about 340 meters per second. You can you can calculate. And let me just do for now about 0 0.05, which is um, around 18 meters per second, 1.8. Uh, so I would say this is a mark. And uh, so uh, let me go into the design and everything is there. So this is the surface you have, and this is the span, and this is the, these are actually mean. This is the quarter length. This is not calculated yet, but it's just given as a references. Uh, but you don't have to worry about that. It's already uh, managed by the software itself. So uh, now we have that and we are going to do, we are not going to do the advanced one now uh, because you will see later uh, what they have, the control surface and so on and so on. But overview, you just click on the overview. And now for now we did, uh, the angle of attack is known and we have uh, at least uh, 10 outputs in the range of minus five to 15. And I, I'm going to launch the solver. Uh, for now, the solver is Vortex Lattice. But if you want, you can click on this one. Uh, but the best one I have seen is the Vortex Lattice for me. So, OK, I'm clicking on the launch solver. So the solver will take a bit, uh, no more than like, yeah, it's very, very fast. Because the reason why you get the solver very, uh, the, the result very soon is that because uh, the sections we have are very few. And so this, the shape is not so complicated. This is the blended wing body. There is no open surfaces. Everything is watertight, so no problem. The solver can do it in a minute, so in, in a seconds. So uh, that is one of the thing. After you are satisfied with the output of the results, you have to uh, give more uh, sections or tessellations. I will show you the tessellations into the, the aircraft so that you will get the more smoother surface of the aircraft and you will do the uh, aerodynamic analysis and you'll get more refined values. So for now we have this and uh, this one shows you uh, the wing span, the lift distribution along the wing span. When I say the wing span, I mean uh, the wing distribution, uh, the lift distribution on the surface from one tip to the other. So you have the negative, the negative eight minus eight to eight, which is uh, one tip of um, uh, the wing is at minus eight of whatever you need, we need. And the other end is that one, uh, the eight, eight meter, uh, probably eight or meter or not. I'm not sure uh, whatever you need to use, you can use it. Uh, uh, just a minute, I, I want to fix something.
Okay. Uh, now you see there are some problems around here. The airflow is not smooth. The lift is not uh, uh, uniformly distributed on the surface. So you know exactly where it is. It's around zero, which means it's around the central part. It's because of you can see right from here uh, that there is some curvatures over there. The lift distribution and and some. Uh, drags, interferences, and so on and so on will affect the lift distribution over there. So you have to go back and redesign the surface there to get the smooth distribution. And so uh, the other important thing you have, this is uh, the, 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 the load distribution, the load distribution on the surface. Now, this is good. Most of the load is distributed around the center where the airframe of the aircraft is more stronger. Around the tip, if we get the highly picked up uh, lift distribution, you have to be careful on that because otherwise the uh, structural integrity of um, the vehicle will be in, uh, uh, is it, it, not in a good condition if you fly it. Uh, Sometimes you may get uh, the aircraft uh, uh, flown apart uh, up in the air. So you have to be careful on that. And this happened sometimes in the past uh, to some of our friends. It's actually, this is a homemade type of UAV, so it uh, doesn't have any effect. Uh, okay, then uh, you can see here, uh, you have uh, distribution for different angles. This is for minus five, and the others are intermediate, and this is for 15 degree angle of attack. So. For 15 degree angle of attack, you have um, uh, high uh, lift distribution. But this, the roughness of the distribution around the central part increases as you or increase the angle of attack. Now, the other thing very important is going to here, the sweep, and going to the alpha, the angle of attack, and then go into the pitch movement. The pitch movement. This is very important. Now we have on the horizontal, the angle of attack and the vertical, you have the movement, the pitching, the nose down and nose up of the aircraft. Now, what we see here is as the angle of attack increases, the pitch movement gets lower and lower and lower, which means it's, the slope is negative, which means the aircraft is trying to nose down as you increase the angle of attack, which means the aircraft is more stable now at least statically stable because it tries to return back to the level flight. Otherwise, if you get the positive slope of uh, the aircraft, you have to somehow move the center of gravity or you have to sweep back uh, some sections and uh, recheck the uh, tendency of uh, the pitch movement of the aircraft. For now it's okay, but if your aircraft is mostly for a long, flight, mostly it's like a level flight. So you have to see at a zero angle of attack, what is the tendency? It's almost zero, right? Well, this, this is very important then. And so the, the aircraft will not pitch down or pitch up. So it's, it looks like it's a fuel efficient type of aircraft in this case. This is just fortunate. Uh, but anyway, it, the design is not that much uh, interesting, but anyway. Okay, now what is interesting is that we get the negative slope, which is very important. So we can say that the aircraft is stable. And so you can do the other thing is you can compare alpha with the drag if you want. The drag increases as angle of attack increases, this is obvious. And also you have, uh, this is the side, side forces, like the force from the side on the aircraft. Uh, we, we don't have that much of forces. The moment, this is moment about X, which is a roll. The roll tendency, it doesn't give sense now. Uh, the, this is for the yo. Uh, oh no, so this is for the pitch, this is for the yo. Uh, so there is no yo, which means the aircraft is uh, flying straight forward, which is not true, but anyway, we are interested in the pitch moment, which is very important. But for advanced type of design in DDS, you have to consider everything you have here. So uh, the other thing is now, now we see that, for example, we see that uh, in here, uh, the pitch, uh, the, the, the level flight at zero, at zero angle of attack, 
the pitch movement is zero. What is the lift to uh, drag uh, ratio at this point? Now we'll go down the lift to drag ratio at zero angle of attack. Click on here. The lift to drag ratio is about uh, is, is, is zero, which means now the aircraft is uh, balanced. The lift and drag at the same. I mean, uh, close to zero, close to zero, which is very small uh, lift, uh, which is not important actually. The, you have to have a positive lift to drag ratio, at least at the level flight. Uh, for that matter. So you, uh, these uh, the dots are just around the sections, the calculation made around the sections. You can add more sections so that you will fill out this thing and it should not be like a curvy, I mean, the, the, the edge type of this, you will get smooth line if you add more refined sections into it. Anyway, uh, this, this doesn't give sense. Uh, uh, it should be like a positive type of um, lift to track ratio. Anyway, where do you get the maximum uh, lift to drag ratio? It is at an angle of say around, um, it looks like around uh, 1.6, around 1.6, around 1 point something, around 1 point something, not 1.6 or 1.2, 1.1. So, uh, which means if you fly uh, your aircraft at an angle of attack, of uh, 1.2 degree, and so you will get the fuel efficient flight. Uh, the lift to drag ratio is very, very high. So there is huge amount of lift and or less amount of drag on the aircraft. So those are the criteria you see, you have to go in detail on all of them. Uh, and once you do this, let's go. Oh, sorry, uh, I forgot to tell you the other part of this. Click on it. Uh, the, oh yeah, it's already there. Okay. Now uh, there is another one. Uh, the result you get now is from here. Whatever we see here is uh, from the results manager. There is another one, the launch viewer. Uh, you want to see the pressure distribution on the surface. Click on here. Uh, it, it's right here. Click on it and maximize it. Go to the legend. You will see now the pressure distribution we are going, I'm going to show you the pressure distribution. Uh, before that, but I want to uh, show you where the center of gravity is. Draw the center of gravity. You see the red dot that right there, that shows you where the center of gravity is. Now, uh, with respect to this center of gravity, where does the lift distribution is high? Is that at the back or the front? And those things are very important. So. And also you, you can get the number if you want. Oh, I'm sorry, there's something wrong going on here. Uh, is that from me or what? Hello, can you hear me? Any any problem? I, I have to go ahead anyway. So I will go um, into you the- can push All right, thank you. So uh, I have to go to the arrow pressure distribution. Uh, now you see the most of, um, uh, now, by the way, this is the pressure dis differences, the lower pressure minus the upper pressure. Uh, you have these pressure differences. Now, the, the, um, the blue ones are high pressure differences, uh, positive pressure difference, which means uh, the, the uh, pressure on the, uh, the lower surface is higher than the upper surface, which means you have more lift uh, around here. And there are some low pressure differences here, which is, I mean, negative pressure differences around here. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I said in the reverse way, in the reverse way, the, the pressure difference is upper minus lower. So you have here uh, the upper minus lower around here, the upper is very low as compared to it's around zero, zero, zero almost close to the lower. In this case, uh, we don't have enough lift, as you can see. Uh, this is, by the way, just a, a surface because it's not important to show the 3D uh, view of this. Uh, so uh, around here is almost for the drag. It's almost for the drag. By the way, we are considering this for negative, for negative angle of attack minus five. For uh, the other angles, you can see 
how the, the drift distribution uh, changes. You can click and see for all of them. Okay, anyway, let me get back to say zero angle of attack. Around here. Okay, we have that uh, zero angle of attack. Now, most of the lifts are at the back. The CGs are here. So it, it depends what type of aircraft you want. Uh, where the CG is close to the average aerodynamic center or away from the average, I mean, from, from the CG. If the aerodynamic center is close to the CG, and then you will get a more stable aircraft. So it is sometimes hard to roll or pitch the aircraft from a stable level flight. Uh, I mean, if, if it is close to zero, uh, it, it is more like uh, maneuverable, like acrobatic type. If it is far away, it's more stable. So that is the type of aircraft you design matters. Uh, what I want to show you here is that you can check how the pressure is distributed on this surface. Okay, um, so we did that for different type of angles. Uh, now, oh, one thing I want to show you uh, is that the legend part, the pressure, and you have from the uh, trailing wicks, uh, how the air flows. Uh, you can see from the front, the air flows uh, for uh, almost zero degree, uh, uh, this is for uh, minus five. You go ahead and see how uh, the airflow is changing direction. So it's yes, obvious because uh, the air has to deflect up uh, as the surface is more uh, faced to the wind. And so that, that shows you there. Uh, and sometimes you'll see some uh, curly air flows and you have to, go back to your vehicle design and change uh, that area so that you can get smooth flows. For now, it's just a smooth and no, no problem. Okay, um, now we, we have, we have um, the control surface right here. Uh, we didn't use it yet. I'm going to show you how to use it, the control surface. Uh, so I'm going to go to the aerodynamic analysis again. In the aerodynamic analysis, you add uh, the control surface, you have from the control surface left and right and pass them, uh, you can add into there. And now uh, you go back into uh, the control surface angle can be given here. If you say give 30 degree angle on, on overview, 30 degree angle, which means the right aileron will deflect 30 degree up and the left aileron will deflect 30 degree down. Or you can change that if you go here, you can change the, 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 the sign, the negative and positive, the negative the pitch down and pitch up for positive. You can do that. Now for now, if you just leave it like that, uh, normally what it calculates is one of the wing is up and the other wing is down. So you can see the roll and the other uh, effect there. Or if you just want to see the pitch, uh, make one of these negative so that uh, both will uh, pitch down or pitch up. Okay, for now uh, we have this, uh, we add uh, the control surface. So we go into here, we added the angle 30 degree and we have uh, the CG calculated already. Now uh, for the advanced part, uh, I'm not going to, tell you in detail, but what it does is it will calculate the stability and control of the aircraft. Now for stability, there are different types of stability, the CD, the P, Q, and R. You can, you can go and see by yourself. There is a documentation of OpenGSP for that. So uh, let me go into the, um, uh, the control and the overview, and then let, let me do the solver. And, We'll see for the distribution. Now you can see that uh, it's not symmetric as you can see uh, as compared to the previous one because this aircraft is now rolling. The aircraft is rolling. 
there is a low lift distribution on this surface and higher lift distribution on the other one. And so uh, that shows actually the rolling effect. And now uh, it, it depends from which side you see, but it can be that the roll right or roll left. But what you can see is just the distribution is not uniform and uh, it's uh, unsymmetric. Now, <clears throat> as you can see here, the lift to uh, the pitch is still negative. The slope is negative, that is fine. And uh, we have from um, the roll, and now the, the, this one the, for the roll movement, you can see here. So you have it there, and actually you can do your own analysis on this. Uh, the 30 degree gives you this much of distribution. Uh, is that what you want or not is uh, based on your own specific uh, design objective. So uh, you can you can uh, play with the others like a drag and so on and so on as it rolls, uh, but mostly this is like a lift to a drag ratio with angle of attack and the pitching and the roll movement and the others. The yo is now because the always the roll is combined with the yo, so you get the yo also there, which is unstable in this case. Okay, <clears throat> and also if you if you go into go, go into the soul and the viewer part, you can see that the distribution of uh, the pressure on the surface is not uniform. More uh, lift is uh, on the uh, right wing surface than the left wing surface. So it is like rolling rolling towards uh, the left. The aircraft roll towards the left. Uh, that is how you can see. Or you can change the angles or you can change uh, whatever you want in the, the, the parameters before the aerodynamic analysis. And you can see the trailing gauge. Um, you see the air flows are not the same now uh, because of this rolling effect. And uh, you can see for different angle of attack, how the air flows on, on the surface as they roll. I mean, and as the aircraft rolls. <clears throat> okay, now we are done with this. And uh, the only thing I want to show you from here is how to import and export. Now you can go into file and then click on import. And so you can, I mean, I'm sorry, you can export. You can export this in different file formats. Like if you want to take this into a CATIA, uh, you can export it as IGS. That's uh, what I, I normally use. And if you want to export it into ANSYS, you can, I mean, um, Blender, you can export it using OBG. Let me just go with the OBG for now. And uh, I will save it somewhere in D file. And so image, and I have one OBG there <coughs> for the hybrid. Uh, I, I may show you that one. Uh, I can call this one mm, test one. So it will add the extension by itself. So no problem, the OBG is there. So one thing I didn't tell you is that it again says the shown part or all parts. So I will just say the shown part only. So OBG, and so you get test one, and that will go into uh, where we want to save it. And you can cancel out this one, we don't need it. And you just click show. Uh, so the file name of your uh, vehicle is here. We didn't name it yet, uh, but we can save. We can file. We can save it. Uh, there is no name given to it. This is the a default name, uh, unnamed dot DSP3. Uh, so you can save it. You can uh, uh, put anywhere you want. Normally in the folder of Open DSP itself, and then anytime you want, you can launch it. And also you can uh, import. Uh, anything you want, import uh, any, like if you want to add the, the, the wheel or any component from external, you can bring it into here from any design. <clears throat> so just click and bring the file of the format you want into it and it will be added into the surface uh, of the aircraft. And the other thing I didn't tell you is uh, the, the, how we can add the background, which is very important. You can add the background, like click on here, background, and go to image, and then click on the file, 
and go into this, say, for example, what do I want to add? Uh, say, okay, just uh, no, white one is not that much important. So let me say background itself. I click accept. Oh, I'm sorry, it, it screens out. Screen sharing has stopped. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, can you hear me? Uh, the screen sharing is stopped. Let me, let me go back again. Uh, is she, is she. I'll, I'm sorry, there, there is something wrong with the, with the design. Okay, I, I will go with, uh, okay, let me share it first. Uh, okay. Okay, I, I hope you see it now. Let oh. me go in. All right, okay, let me go into my file. Uh, my file, which I have been doing on yesterday, it just for fun. Okay, uh, I'm going to bring it that file. Okay, that file is here. Oh, a lot of things are there. I want to delete these all things. I don't want them. This is somehow intensive. So, okay, I have this design. Uh, this is uh the shaded part uh and also i don't want this one okay this is the uh, blended wing uh, type of uh, uav i designed for my own project so this is um for agricultural purpose we're gonna put the uh, uh cameras beneath the aircraft and the, on the belly of the aircraft and uh, the wing is very long and we have uh, the tips uh, designed this way so that we can avoid some air, foil, uh, air, air, air turbulence. So anyway, uh, this is the design. I did uh, the background, I'm going to bring the background, but uh, I'm sure it will not crash again. I think the window crash, that's why uh, it, it makes me to, be out of the zoom. Uh, let me let me try to bring uh, any file. Let's say, oh, why not back? I just click on back and let me see. If, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Can can you hear me? Uh, let me. Hello, hello. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, let me uh, let me do it again. Uh, there is something wrong uh, oh, with my no, computer. <laughs> Okay, and then, uh, it crashes. I think the problem is with my own. It is nothing to do with yours. So let me try again. Uh, uh, okay, uh, let me bring the window first. <clears throat> Let's say the background first, if, if I can. Uh, right, okay, let me go into, say I have uh, one background of this in D. Uh, image i did this before and i don't know why it crashed okay i get the background this is the the fight against the uh, uh that i want to show you how we can use the background now uh, let me just go back and uh, show you again uh, go into the window background and click on uh, image and then click on here it will queue to wherever uh, you want and then bring uh, the image you want. Now, in this case, we have um, the fighter jet. And now <clears throat> uh, there are, I think three, three of them are there, but we don't have the back side. Now, if you want to design the fighter jet of this type somehow, uh, you can use this one. You just bring this as a background. Now you, you can scale it also. Uh, that didn't show you that. You can scale it. The scaling is here. You can offset to X and also to Y as you want. Okay, for now it's okay. Uh, I'm going to just cancel this one and you will remain with that. Okay, I will bring the, the wing um, and so click add. By the way, you just select one of the components you want and then you have to click add to bring it into uh, the window. Now we have this, so I'm going to design it. I'll cut it somehow maybe into sections, uh, say different section. So I will drag 
the mean somehow increases. I'm not going to show you everything, but uh, I want to tell you that it's possible to do. Oh, exactly. It's, it's possible to do the design after you finish this one. Like, for example, you do all the drag, increase the span, go to uh, this one, and all, where is that section? And the, the root section increase. Uh, you can move this, the whole air curve forward by going into the tip. And then you can increase the length of your section, root section, uh, say to 24. That is huge. And you can drag all the others um, into oh, where is that? That is it. Okay. And go into the other sections and do the same thing. Just fit into, into into the circle. I'm not going. I'm not going to waste time on this. You can do it. You can finish up with the top view of the fighter jet, and then you can click on uh, the side view, which is uh, the side view which is seven vf f7 you can you can go into view and you can see that uh, f7 is here so you their cuff will give you the side view because we have the side view of the fighter jet and bring it that and go into the thickness and everything and you can shape it that uh, and for this part we have to add another component that i didn't tell you you can add you can add another wing if you want you can add another wing and just call this one uh, to be like um, B1 um, or whatever. Uh, okay, I call it B1, and then I have to add more wing, and so that I can I can bring this wing. I uh, only one section of this wing. Cut the other section and rotate this one about um, uh, x axis by say 90 degree, and so you have it there. Now, if I go to the side view, we have it here. So you can push back and you can, you can fix it right into the shape and you can do that. After you finish again, you go into the front view of your vehicle, the front view of your vehicle and bring it into here. They scale it, no problem. You can scale it uh, down. And so you can again, match it in. If you have a, a, the, the, all this, uh, the uh, views of uh, your background, and then you will, you will get perfectly the design or the design copy of the background. That is one thing important, especially if you want to design uh, the existing uh, vehicle type. Okay, uh, so we export it. We, we made uh, export uh, in the form of OBG to Blender. And so I'm going to show you that in the Blender. So let me close from this and I'm going to go into the, the Blender. Uh, let me uh, go into Blender. Uh, right here, I have a Blender, okay? Okay. Uh, blender is not a must. This is for interior design. We finished with the exterior design, but this is for exterior design, interior design uh, or maybe uh, one thing I want to tell you that uh, after you design your aircraft, uh, for example, we'll see that in the next series uh, that you will take this aircraft into the flight control software uh, software in the loop simulation part, and you will use that the designed uh, vehicle into that uh, gazebo the simulation environment and do all the camera and everything mounted into the UAV or the aircraft and then uh, if you are interested to track some ground vehicle, you will see how it performs. Uh, the, all the sensors are provided by gazebo simulation environment itself, the virtual sensor, so, so you, can, you can do that. In that case, what you have to do is, you, you cannot use it, the aircraft as it is. Uh, if you have a control surface here, you have to cut out the control surface from uh, the UAV in the blender cut out the control surface because Gazebo considers everything as a rigid body. And if you don't cut the control surface, it doesn't move in the simulation environment. So you have to take this one into Blender or Katia and cut out uh, the surfaces or any part of that you want to cut out or add any modification to the interior part. And so that you can use that in the simulation environment. The control surface will be 
rejoin to this aircraft in the gazebo simulation with some type of joints like revolute and uh, uh, hinge type of joints. And then you apply the force on the hinge. Uh, the simulation environment, I mean, simulation software itself will apply the forces uh, on those uh, control surface and you'll see the deflection. And so, um, okay, now, uh, 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 just, just, just a minute, just a minute. Uh, I'll, I'll be back like uh, one minute. Hello? Hello? Doctor Isama? Yanta didn't disappear, I'll go can I? Hello? Okay, I want to say that the person who didn't disappear, I'll go now, Dr. Isama. Oh, sorry. Kami lalu lagi gelar lemas lagi. Gizi alat ini entah ni dalil itu sahaja nama dia. Kalau jual sini sahaja. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Thank you. Ah, so blender gan om ni dong. Ah, so blender is this one. Ah, file us jawatan. Yang ini important nara gelar. Ah, we got the OBG file. We have OBG file, so we have to go into there. It is D file. And now image, I guess. Yes, we have it there. So we have different types, actually. The, uh, my own, the hybrid type, and this one is a test one. Uh, we can go with the test one and see how it, it works. OK, so uh, I, I will import that. I will import this one. So uh, import this. Just, just a minute. Okay, it is it is important, it is important, but it's a, a 90 degree to the surface. So let me rotate this one. Uh, I guess it's right there. Oh, there has to be rotation there. I'm not familiar with this much aspect, with this thing. Uh, so yeah, it, it is there. So we can rotate it, uh, say, or also uh, right there we have a rotation so we can we can rotate it the way we want just we can rotate it this way let's feel i have to rotate okay okay uh, we have it we have it there now i want to cut out the control surface the control surface is right from here. So for that, uh, we need uh, an object to cut it. And let me add uh, one object, which is say a cube. Uh, so I will take this cube and I will scale it. I'm scaling it there. So let me just scale it. Okay, and then I will it into the surface I want. I want to cut it, uh, cut the control surface using this, uh, just a, a rough way of uh, cutting the surface. So uh, let me scale it again. Uh, so let's 
so uh, you can you can see uh, how much of the surface has to be uh, cut out from uh, the air cap uh, right from the the uh, open vsv uh, the number is there about 25 percent of the distance you can cut out and the measurement is there if you want you can you can, you can measure the distance uh, how much distance you need to to take from right here into the surface and actually you can take the whole length and then reduce the amount of um, control surface you want from there and then you can put this uh, uh, box uh, right there okay uh, so i'm going to cut out the control surface say that is a control surface and so i'm going to cut uh, that out okay let me just give a little bit of Okay. Okay. Now <clears throat> I want to cut out of the surface. Uh, in the Boolean, you just click on me and bring the object that cut. Surface. It'll take more time to take the control surface out, uh, the copy of that, and later on we need it for the um, uh, simulation in the loop uh, part of our series. So anyway, we have this, so you can do uh, any type of um, uh, modifications. I mean, no modification like views. If you want, you can see like this. You can smooth th this thing, smooth it, and so you can you can see it here. Uh, oh, 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 fine. I mean, <laughs> looks like a bird. Anyway, uh, we can do that. We can do it to the surface. This is not rough. I mean, this is not smooth cut. Uh, because I did it randomly, the surface is not meshed well. Uh, in, in the op, uh, open VSP, you have to do the meshing very well so that you can uh, get the good cut. Uh, for any, uh, for now, I think it's enough. Uh, I did that for Blender. You can do, you can cut out, and also you can you can cut any any part you want. Uh, for like, if you want the spoilers, normally we don't do that. Uh, for the UAVs, control surface are aileron and elevators, uh, mostly the elevon, elevon, which combines aileron and elevator. Uh, we can deflect the boss side of the um, control surfaces up to pitch the aircraft up or down, and that will use as elevators. So we can uh, also use this uh, control surface for rolling, and that's why we call elevon, uh, which is a combination of aileron and ele uh, elevator. So uh, that's it for Blender. You can do it, and after you did to send it to Gazebo Simulation Environment, this has to be exported as .dae file. You go into here and go into the export. And actually, it's not only DAE file, you can also use STL because Gazebo accepts STL file and also the .dae file right there. You can click on here and export it as a .dae file, and we can use this UAV in our design. Uh, the other thing you can do with this is that if you want to make it more elegant, you, go, you can go into the text painter, you can, you can paint on it, you can give different type of a design on the UAV, it looks like more real, uh, so that you can do that. And you can play with this, and uh, different types of uh, uh, features are there in this blender. <clears throat> so uh, with that, you can export it, as I said, uh, I don't need to export this one. And now but you can click on here and export it uh, to wherever you want. Okay, this is about blender. Uh, I I'm not going to show you how to uh, do this in Katia. I guess uh, I didn't uh, download Katia on here. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That, Dr. Joseph. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure again. I'm the, I think I'm the page line. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Stuck yet. Um, uh, 
Okay, oh, I hope okay. we can see top view, front view, and ah, okay, uh, yeah, crafting. Ah, then see some other one. Oh, some other. All right, but ah, uh, cause that was chalo, cause blender was chalo. Now, uh, I want to show you. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I want to show you. Um, let me go into the um. Okay, my file. I want to export the file. I think there is something wrong with this uh, window. I can't see. All right, let me go into this one. My goodness, there is something wrong with it. I want to export my file in the form of uh, STL or IGS so that I can take that into Katia. But anyway, uh, I think the, the second person who is going to present on tomorrow will talk about Katia. The only thing I can say is from uh, OpenVSP, you can go into the uh, file type of IGS uh, and you can save the file in that form and then you can export that into Katia and do the interior design as we did for uh, Blender. So for the ANSYS also directly, you can take the STL of this, uh, especially if you're satisfied with the conceptual and preliminary design of this thing, you want to get more advanced and refined result you can export this into open I mean, uh, ANSYS. Uh, I'm not sure if I have ANSYS also. Uh, no, I don't have that. Uh, anyway, uh, the only thing I can say is, uh, I, I think Robert will talk about that. We'll talk about Katia and ANSYS, I will ask him. Um, but anyway, uh, all we can do is then export this, uh, whatever you designed here into different type of, um, uh, softwares like interior uh, interior design normally, and then uh, you can do more uh, 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 realistic uh, uh, aerodynamic analysis using commercial uh, uh, softwares like ANSYS. I think I finished here. Um, if you have any question or suggestion, I uh, will accept it. And thank you for listening. Uh, Dr. Okay. Okay. I think the Ago Chitana Swaluna just ask some of them. Um Jamareo uh Gadlu how to select material type to learn. So if you could uh, elaborate on that. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, Ziga, uh, even Tikna Surasu Sunsara open VSL Vila. Uh, open VSP, uh, thickness and just the shell thickness are going to be capable. You got thin shell are going to be capable. Normally, uh, mass name calculate me are ago, uh, the volume moon, the aircraft to the yanda and airfoil, uh, thickness calculate the yarga, the volume moon ito, uh, because I hidden density was done exactly in nine material blend, Ziga and Tatum. Uh, density on them set of volume, all density, all the hidden in the tech mono mass generated me arago inertial property on generated me arago again. Kazi was then with the Katia cost and the Wahala Katia line material select target uh, more inertial effect on mass on CG on Naman calculate Maragichala. I shall look at the ally buzu by Rarakam, Mirakam, and Albert uh, interior design with. Minchamamracho Nagaruch, Kalacho, Yamas distribution, CG, Namila Yanji, Babzanyo, Tamasasino, Mihono, Na Ziga, Minim Minus material in the Zianus Nobulo, Igals, mass property, Naman, Nara Sachinum set of the density on Nom Satana, Kazakhnasum Rasuno, assigning Yar. One now Nagari, the aerodynamic shape Pumbichano, exterior shape Pumbichano, Misatan, Kaza air flow on calculate Lamaragno. Hey, Ben Diaragal, Madame Blue, I have some soft hero marathon. Malishe Cohone was the Avacalo, Lila Yakale. Yeah, one more question, Kazuga Tayazo. How can we set the mass distribution across the wings, across the wingspan and fuselage? So I, I think it's similar question, but. Uh, Sim yeah, yeah, similar. No, again, one thing I would, I would like to say is that you can add. Components. Uh, you can add components from here, uh, and you can assign masses into it. You can assign masses into this, uh, and then just it's not the realistic one, but you can put it 
and add and uh, you can put uh, the mass into it. Uh, the length, the width, the height, everything is given there. So you can do that. And also there is one point, uh, I'm not sure they added something into it. Uh, I think the pod or what is that, the blank. Uh, so that you can put uh, like uh, some objects inside the aircraft to see the weight distribution inside. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a pod. Uh, no, there's no mass in it, but you can, you can search by yourself and you can get the, what type of um, uh, box you have to, or object you have to put inside so that you can get the, this is the conceptual and preliminary part of the design. So. Uh, we, we, we don't care about that. We just care about the performance. But if you want the, the mass distribution again, you just put those objects and based on the, the shape, I mean, on the volume and the length and so on and so on, uh, it will uh, calculate um, the mass by itself. But uh, still the software is under development. Questions are concerning these areas, like how we can re be realistic on the, the material type and so on and so on. Uh, but for now, well, this is, uh, I think, enough to calculate things based on the density and, and the volume and so on. Okay, okay. <clears throat> any other questions? Yeah, one last question. Yeah. Uh, Yarit, uh -huh. um, it says, if we don't select material, how yeah. could we do finite element analysis using uh, open software? Oh uh, yeah, okay. The finite element analysis, Mr. Rao, uh, here in the surface mesh aragon, two small integrated panel mesh aragon as that I know distribution of Mr. Here ideal no, but I'm ideal here on solver no solver on the theory one. Here in finite wing, I know that something you still yonder on the surface line calculate me arago, but I'm the buzu assumption no. Even the angle of attack, simple as you which I'm ru higher salasam nam saragu lift to you can say can say dalinji stall speed on a inagrachum aircraft just calculate me arago the simple bohonu solver I think in detail so you touchu the tayut in saral the tanabut saral and then on story alfartus but still they are being. Uh, on solving the problems related to what you raised now. Uh, and I'm, I'm not uh, sure about the detail of that. Uh, if I get a more, uh, I mean, information on that, I may uh, send it to you through Betty or uh, uh, the others who are working in the team. Ashi. Any other question? Okay. Mm -hmm. She, uh, I think, uh, I was in Spain, but I'm in the second island, Dr. Joseph. Uh, but much other shah, uh, Dr. Shunya, Institution Action Deputy Director General, final, uh, Mark, uh, is that a man? Okay, Doctor, Dr. Shunya, Samar, Samar, oh, Samar. Josie, but I'm never second at them. Joseph, never second at them. The young formally communicate a good wording in a visitor of Colum, but a calle would not would not participants and presenters. Giziachun would do no Giziachuns about a choosy. In seminar, especially in Dr. Yosina, okay, okay, especially in Dr. Yosik, Ahon Bazisat and the Suga, ladies know what the Kaleri po arasat wala man kawabi no na ndazi gzia chum sata chu matrele mo yau ka meshwala degna kala chu commitment ansa degna mudio na gzia chum sata chu ndazi ayet commitment wamusa chu betam na mesek ganalen 
ሌሎችም የሚቀጥሉ በሚቀጥሉት ጊዜያት የሚቀጥሉ አሉ ተስማምታችሁ እንደዚህ አይነት ሁኔታ ስለተገናኘና መሰግራለን ሌላው በተለይ ስፔሻሊ ማመስገን የምፈልገው የኤሮስፔስ ኢንጂነሪንግ ዲፓርትመንት ዲፓርትመንት ሄድ እና ስታፍ ይሄ ኢኒሼቲቭ ወስዳችሁ እዚህ ስላደረሳችሁ የምር በጣም ነው ማመስገናችሁ ከዛ በተረፈ ከኛ ተቋም ውጪ የሆናችሁ ፓርቲሲፓንትስ ስለተሳተፋችሁና መሰግናለን ስፔሻሊ ኤ ኮርስ ያው ብዙ ተደክመውበት ነው ግዚያቸውን ሰውተው ግዚያቸው ስላችሁ የ አንደኛ የእንቅልፍ ግዚያቸው ማለ የሰባ ግዚያቸው ማለ ይሄንን ሰውተው ነው በዚህ ሰዓት እየተገኙ ያሉ በጣም ትልቅ ኮሚትመንት ነው ስለዚህ ሌሎች ጓደኞቻችን ኢንቫይት ልታደርጉና በጣም ሰፊ ማህበረሰብ የሚጠቀም ቢሆን ጥሩ ነው ብለን እናስባለን ምክንያቱም የኢንቨስት እየተደረገ ያለው በጣም ሰፊ ስለሆነ ማለት ነው ከዛ በተረፈ ጥሩ ኢኒሼቲቭ ጀመረናል ይሄን ኢኒሼቲቭ ማስከተል አለብን ቲዮሬቲካሊ እንደዚህ አገር ውስጥ ከበር የሚያደርግ ብዙ ድፍረቱ ድፍረቱም ሁኔታዎችም አመቻ አይደሉም ግን በእንደዚህ አይነት መንገድ ጀምረናል የተሻለ ስራ ደግሞ መስራት እንቻላለን ይሄንን ያው ግራጁዌት ፕሮግራሙን ጀምረናል ከአዲስ አበባ ሳይንስ እና ቴክኖሎጂ ዩኒቨርሲቲ ጋር ስለዚህ ይሄ ተጠናክሮ ይከተላል ማለት ነው ስለዚህ በእንደዚህ አይነት መንገድ እየቀጥልን ይዳለን በአገራችን የኤሮስፔስ ኢንደስትሪን እናሰፋለን እና ያው ኤሮስፔስ እና ለማለን ያ ማለት ያ ማለት ምን ማለት ነው ኤሮስፔስ ለአገራችን ትልቁ የኢኮኖሚ ባክቦን ስኪዮን ድረስ መስራት አለብን ምክንያቱም ሌሎች አገሮች በዚህ ዘርፍ ትልቅ ተቀመጣ ያገኙ ስለሆነ ትልቅ ትርፋማ የሆኑ ስለሆነ እኛ ደግሞ እዚህ ላይ ኢንቨስት ምናደርግ ኢኮኖሚያችንን ሊያሳደግ የሚችሉ ስራዎችን መስራት እንችላለን እኛም ፕሮፌሽናሊ ማደግ እንችላለን ከታች ያሉትንም ማምጣት እንችላለን ስፔስ ስፔስ ማለት በሆነች በሳይንስ ብቻ የታጠረ ሳይሆን ቴክኖሎጂውን ቴክኖሎጂውን ሳይንሱንም ዲስከቨር ማድረግ የሚቻለው ቴክኖሎጂው ነው ነው ስለዚህ ቴክኖሎጂን ማልማት ትልቅ ቅድሚያ ሊሰጥ የሚገባው ተግባር ስለሆነ ይሄንን አጠናክረን እንቀጥናለን ያው ሳጠናቀው ሁላችሁንም ሁላችሁንም እዚህ ጋር የተሳተፋችሁትን በጣም ማመሰግናለሁ ማለት ነው። ዩ። እሺ በጣም ማመሰግናለሁ ዶክተር ሺ በድጋሚ ዶክተር ጆሴፍ እና ማመሰግናለሁ ሌሎቻችሁንም እንግዲህ ከዚህ በኋላ ደግሞ በቀጣይነት እስከምንገናኝ በዚህ ላይ ቻልሰማ